um, Ephesians chapter 3 verses 19 on your bread of life today and I'm going to read the contemporary version as I continue with Elohim Ahava the God who loves the Bible says I want you to know all about Christ's love although it is too wonderful to be measured then your lives will be filled with all that God is when you know his the love of Christ then your life will be filled if you really want to be filled with all that God is in your life it's that simple know the love of Christ be compelled by the love of Christ somebody say when you think about love think about me I beg to disagree when you think about love you think about Christ's love because God is love for God so loved the world that he gave his son and Christ so loved us that he gave his what his life so when you think about life love think about Christ because when you think about his love you get to know him more and the more you get to know him more the more you are filled with all that God is am I really making sense so our reasoning intentional and spiritual devotion is and should always be inspired by God's love for us and in us for example your praying must be inspired by God's love for you and in you your giving okay your tithing must be inspired by God's love for you and in you that is what I'm trying to say are you understanding me the Bible says in 1st John 3 16 by this we know love because he laid down his life for us and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren how do we know love he laid down his life that's the cross so if if you really want to have the true definition of the love of God Elohim Ahava the God who loves just look at the cross am I really making sense now let me say this God's love is his self-communication to man and man's love is a holy self-consecration to God are you seeing that for example let me say this we love God because he first loved us so you cannot brag that for you love God no God loved you first okay we love God because he first loved us why because God, his love is his self-communication to man he communicated that language to us and then to us it's a holy self-consecration <clears throat> to God as a gratitude for the things that he has done for us the Bible tells us I mean uh, uh, um, that is that is his communication in our consecration feedback all right for example as a minister of the gospel as pastor adrian being deep is not the most important thing hallelujah but loving the people that i minister to is what counts loving the people that i minister to through your bread of life every day is what counts do i love you so very much before i get to minister to you the bible says in first corinthians chapter 13 1 and 3 though i speak with the tongues of men and of angels but have not love i have become sounding bros and a clutching symbol and though i have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though i have all faith so that i could remove mountains but have not love I am nothing and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor and though I give my body to be burnt but have not love it profits me nothing that every day I wake up to give us your bread of life but have not love it profits me nothing it's all useless it is all useless can you imagine every single day of the year 365 your bread of life every day and I have not love it profits me nothing and so it's very important for us to understand that love is the uttermost the bible says in galatians 5 6 for if we are in christ jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for nothing for anything but only faith activated and energized and expressed and working through love your faith expressing itself through love your giving expressing itself through love your worship expressing itself through love your serving expressing itself through love your loving your wife and your husband expressing itself through love your work at your workplace everything you do at your workplace ought to be expressing itself through love because if it's not it profits you nothing eh? that you can go to work and have not love and whatever you do you receive your salary you receive all these privileges but you have not love let me tell you something it is profiting you nothing hallelujah am i really making sense so friends the more we know about god's love 
the more we are filled with all that God is. And I want you to know that the more we know about God's love, the more we are filled with all that God is. It's from this place of love that we worship. It's from this place of love that we serve. It's from this place of love that we give. It's from this place of love that we pray. Why? For the love of Christ compels us. 2 Corinthians 5.14 The love of Christ ought to compel you to do the things that you are doing. This love, the Bible says, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and it will never fail. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 7 and 8. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the love, Elohim Ahava, the God who loves, that I'm bringing before you, because to know Him is to love Him. And the more you know His love, the more you are filled with all that God is. After all, you are compelled, you are complete in Christ and in Him all the fullness of God dwells. So love Him and the best of His love is yet to come.